But I got my veto. No way. That literally just happened. Let's go. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh my gosh. Stopping power for the win. No. Oh my gosh. I'm on a relentless, bro. I'm going to go up here instead. There you go. What's going on Turbo Nation? Season six is finally here and I gotta hook you guys up with updated class setups. I know you guys are waiting for that. So we're gonna start off with the MP5. MP5, hands down, the most popular gun in the game. Also, it shreds as well. That's why it's the most popular. We're gonna go through two different alternate class setups. So for the barrel, this one is a no question, no brainer, monolithic integral suppressor, sound suppression, and bullet velocity. And it actually does increase your damage range. So this is the barrel that you wanna run with. And because we're running this barrel, you're not able to run a muzzle on it, but that's okay. Cause we got a two for one in this one. All right, so for the next attachment, we are gonna be running with attack laser aim down side speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness and by the way all of these attachments are going to make sense once i'm finished putting it together so for the perk we are going to be running with slide of hand now the fact that this gun runs out of ammo fairly quickly and also it takes forever to reload and in multiplayer you got to be really quick so that's why we're putting on the slide of hand it's going to save your life a lot and it'll allow you to go on a lot more kill streaks so for the ammunition we're running with a 45 round magazine Main reason why is because we want to be able to take out multiple enemies at a time. Dude, later in the video, you're going to see me get triple kills, mainly because I'm running this 45 round mag. If I was running with the 30 round mag, definitely would not be getting those triple kills. All right, so for the underbarrel, we're going to be running with the commando foregrip. This one's going to help out with that recoil stabilization and that side to side bounce and a little bit of vertical recoil control. So this one's a bit of an all around class setup. If you guys have been living under a rock, Mark foregrip got nerfed about a month ago, so it's not really seen as viral anymore but that's not to say that it's not viable at all it still gives you recoil control and also that hip fire accuracy the only reason why it's not as viable is because it does not improve your movement speed anymore it actually reduces your movement speed only by one percent which is not a lot not a big deal to a lot of people if you want to put on a collapsible stock you could if you want to to be able to mitigate that negative but for the purposes of this video and what I do recommend, put on the Commando Foregrip. This thing is a laser beam. So this is my first MP5 setup. Now let's go over my second alternate class setup for those who are more aggressive and want to move around the map a lot faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off this tack laser and we're going to take off this underbarrel. So what we're going to replace that with is going to be the Operator Foregrip. Now the reason why I picked the Operator Foregrip is because it simply just gives you vertical recoil control and that is what we're going to need and it's going to make sense here in a little bit. Now the reason why I didn't pick Ranger or Merc Foregrip is because these do reduce your aim down side speed and your aim walking movement speed. Now with the Operator Foregrip, it only reduces your aim down side speed and with the attachment that I'm about to put on it, it will negate the negative of the aim down side speed as seen here on the Operator Foregrip. So we wanna try to mitigate as many negatives as possible and create the most balanced class setup. So in order to do that, we're gonna put on the F-Tac Collapsible. So this one's gonna give us movement speed and aim down side speed. This is what is gonna balance it out and this might be a setup that more experienced players and players who have a better time controlling aim will wanna use. For me personally, I do favor this one just slightly, just a little bit more, but I also do like the alternate setup that I just showed you, but that's not it. For the secondary, you do want to run an M19 or another pistol that does carry the nine millimeter rounds in it. Because if you didn't know, if you put on the 32 round mags on your secondary and the perk fully loaded, this will give you a whole bunch more ammo on your MP5. And that's going to be very crucial for just staying on longer streaks in general. Perks are going to be EOD, Ghost and Tracker. All right, so for my lethal, this is what is different in season six. They have severely nerfed the C4 of how far you actually toss the thing and how quick you can detonate the thing. So for me, man, I'm really sad about that. So now I'm forced to use something else other than a C4 because it's just not practical in most close quarter combat situations. You can't just toss it and then detonate it right in front of your enemy. Now I'm just using the Semtex and for my tactical i'm still going to be using that stim shot let's transition into the live gameplay you guys got to watch this gameplay watch until the end drop a like subscribe if you are new around here join turbo nation today make it official and i will see you guys in the gameplay
just vibe with me real quick on this one the mp5 will go down in history as one of the most popular weapons in call of duty usually i, I don't even really go this way usually just want to try something different you know oh my yo where's this man going nope eod for the win it's all about power positions on this map oh boy he literally just deleted both of my teammates at the same time. I wonder what gun he was using. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, they're right below me, right below me. Bro, how did I not kill that guy? Oh my gosh. Keep in mind, this is literally uh one of my first few games of the day. Still getting warmed up here. Bro. God, bro, I'm struggling. Gotta do a better job here. All right, see what stopping power does. Oh, it melts. What a surprise. Dude. Heck is going on, bro. Need to get inside here or something. Oh, eat that. Yes, I actually got a Semtex kill. Let's go. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're making this comeback right now. Anybody else? Oh, he's up here. He's up here. All right, we need this daddy. Not sure where this other guy went, but I got my veto. No way. That literally just happened. Let's go. Nope. All right, you know, let's call this uh, veto. I do want to create more distractions for these guys to handle, but I guess it's time to uh, push into their spawn. Someone said they're reloading. No! Uh, well, uh, you know what? At least I got my full streaks. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Yeah, we struggled in the beginning. We seriously struggled in the beginning. Well, we finished off with 25 kills, 8 deaths. Uh, you know what? I, I want a much cleaner gameplay. We got to go take it to a next one. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. We've got Hackney Yard here. All right, so we're going to be using this alternate MP5 class setup. Man, you know what? I'm truly going to miss Hackney Yard. Hackney Yard really is one of my favorite maps probably of all time. Not going to say my favorite map of all time, but one of my favorite maps of all time. So, you know, I, I've got this this map down to a T, like exa exactly where I need to go. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Oh. Dude, that's what I like about this operator foregrip. Wait, where is this man? Oh, he's right here. Did you kill him, teammate? Okay, good. He did. All right, let's push up now. Now we know uh, we have a general idea of where they're at. Should be more. There should be more. I'm waiting. What? Wait, did this guy see me? I might die here, honestly. I'm gonna go up here instead. There you go. All right, let's move. Switch positions. The spawns are going to flip 100%. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Let's be sneaky. Wait, 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 wait. Get a kill right here. Get a kill right here. Easy claps. Pop that bad boy right there. Hopefully, I don't kill myself. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. 
All right. Let's go up here. Still don't see anything. All right, one more. Yep, we got the support helo. Let's go. Gatekeeping right now. Not allowing them to come in to advance. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I'm going to die. Nope, I'm still alive. I think my support helo should kill this guy. Oh, he's pushing. He's pushing. Oh, my gosh. You shall not pass. All right, let me actually move this way. Oh my gosh. Reload. I think he's up here. I'm still going, I'm still going. Oh my gosh. Closing this door. All right, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Oh my gosh, stopping power for the win. No! Oh my gosh. I'm on a relentless, bro. Okay. Where's the rest of these guys? I want to get these last few kills. Still get three more kills. Two more kills now. I'm probably going to die here doing this. Being absolutely reckless. All right, cool. We got the final kill. All right. 24 kills, not bad, dude. Oh, dude, I, this was a flawless gameplay. Let's get it, man. I'm pretty excited about that. So, uh, yeah, guys. Um, Black Ops Cold War is on the way. Hopefully, you guys are excited as I am. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, MP5, you will surely be missed. I'm not sure if this is going to be my last video, like I said. But, yeah, Season 6. This is the MP5 setup that you need to be using that will hold you off until Cold War. Let's go, baby. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Join Turbo Nation. Make it official today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.